All right, so today we're going to install Photoshop 7 on Kubuntu 10.10, and obviously we're using Wine. Um, one of the first things you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the core fonts installed. You can use Wine Tricks for that, and I've already installed them. It shows them in the list, but I've already installed mine. If you don't, you will get an error from Photoshop saying that it can't find a default font for the system. So you want to do that first. So we're going to go ahead and do the setup here. And go next. English for sure. I accept that. And there they want me to enter my serial number. Oh, here's my serial number. I don't care if you see it. It's no big deal. And I'm going to paste it in there. And go next. I'm going to do the typical installation. And default all that stuff. Now we're going to wait for it to install here. It doesn't take very long compared to the newer Photoshop's the CS series. Um, the reason I'm not using the CS suite is because a lot of my plugins, like uh, iCandy and ZeneFX and various others, don't work with CS 3 and above, actually. I could get them to work in 1, CS 1 and 2, but I couldn't get them to work above CS 2. Alright, we're done. And there's the README file that I don't need to see. Okay, so it's all installed. And I'm going to see if it put it in my menu. It's quite possible it didn't. It didn't. So, I already know where I'm going to go. I go to my home folder. And if you don't have it set this way, you can go show hidden files and it'll show you all the files. So I know where it's installed. It's in my wine directory here. I go wine, it's in drive C, program files, Adobe, Photoshop, and there it is. And there's my executable for it. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and fire it up. Show you it works. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, new file here, and go to a gradient. And the text tool, which is what would mess up if you didn't install core fonts with Wine Tricks. So yeah, there you go. And filters will work if it's. Yeah, they all work. And you can install filters, and maybe I'll make another video of me installing eye candy and all that good stuff later on and showing you that it does work. Now, you can use GIMP, and you can install Photoshop filters into GIMP, but back, back in the day, I used Photoshop, and I just became comfortable with it. So this is just showing that you can use Photoshop and Linux and it's actually quite simple to do and it will work and it works just fine so that's that and I hope that if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer them uh, that was just a quick show you how